Hello, welcome to Anderson Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today is Sunday the 17th of November 2019 and during the week I noticed that it was the anniversary of Leibniz's death on November the 14th, 1716. So Leibniz is credited with integration, the discovery of integration, so I decided I'd do one or two examples in MATLAB, numerical approximation. So get rid of that page and I'm going to do two methods the trapezoidal method there do some web page revisionmaths.com you know calculus trapezium rule just reminding of it there's the formula I'm not going into the nitty gritty details Simpsons rule mat auditor there's the formula etc again not going through the nitty gritty and I leave that page up for a second and this page here is the source for the intellectual property came from just there you can search for that Matt uni PD okay so I can get rid of that page and I'm going to leave that up for a second and the formula we're looking at is x cubed sine x I just couldn't get that superscript there so x cubed sine x and just to go here, the exact integral is 17709. And if you look at this switch, if you look at this web page, Symbol Lab, it'll show you exactly and it'll break it down step by step, etc. So I'm going to leave that up 17709. There we go. So run and advance that section. Run and advance this section. Uh, we're going to tidy up here run in advance here we go 10 strips 11 points the width of a strip is the second point minus the first point that's okay here we go x cubed sine x and remember so x is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.8 0 0.9 and 1 and remember it's each individual element of x so it's the dot power by sine x there's our trapezoidal there okay that's grand and then I spat out the answer there to four decimal places okay the true value from the web page there is 17709 I got the error the observed value minus the expected and then I got the percent error which is the error over the true value so I run in advance and we see there that uh, the, according to the trapezoidal method, it's 1803, so that's a little out, and uh, the decimal error is 1.7%. Okay, we're going to have a go at Simpson's rule. Uh, run in advance. We're going to tidy up, we're going to clear the workspace, etc. Uh, same as before, 0 to 1 in steps of point 0.1. The width of the strip we get the length now we have to do the evens and the odds so that's one to uh, eleven in steps of two and the even is two four six eight ten and then we give the weights is two here for the odd etc and then the weight of the even is four and the first and the half of last have a weight of one this line here we generate f x cubed sine x note the dot power again uh, the weights by a dot f and it's a dot multiply again so just to get that right we use the sum command to add them all up and line 48 will spit out the answer so i'm just going to run and advance here yeah so 17702 from above we are from the page there before we know the exact value is 17709 so i got the error here which is the observed minus expected this line here sorry this line there observed minus expected and then i got the percentage error which is the error over the integral remember the integral just in case i'm going a little quick the integral is my approximation on this line here and then on line 53, I spat out 
the answer, the percentage error, and that's very, very small compared to the trapezoidal method. And then finally here, I did a little plot and I just ran that section here, run and advance when there's nothing to advance to. And there's the graph there. So I hope that was of some interest uh, and of some benefit to you. And the power of MATLAB here is that you could do these uh, trapezoidal and Simpson's rule without um, a for loop. You can just use the dot power. Okay, so thanks very much for listening.